this is just a little overview of this first foundation of leading with presence. So let me bring up the slides again. So the second foundation, so presence gets us on the map, right? If we're not here, we're on automatic. As soon as we show up, now we're, we're in the game. We're on the playing field of the conversation, right? We have some choice. We can take care of what's going on for ourselves. We're getting information from the other person. Intention is the next step, right? Intention helps make sure we're oriented in the right direction. It's like our guide, our compass in the conversation. The training here is to learn how to come from curiosity and care. So let's talk a little bit more about intention. What do I mean by that? Why is it important? And how do we come from curiosity and care? So intention is where we're coming from inside. It's the motivation or the inner quality of heart behind our words and our actions rather than the outcome, right? Intention isn't about, I want you to do this, or I need that to happen, right? That's the outcome that you want. The intention is about how you're showing up, right? Where am I coming from? Am I angry? Am I impatient? Is there pain and I'm expressing hurt? Um, is there a sense of urgency? What are the qualities internally that I am bringing to the conversation? So intention determines the direction of the conversation, right? Intention is the single most powerful and transformative ingredient in a dialogue. Why? Brian's already made a comment pointing to this. So when you're in a conversation with somebody, if their words are saying one thing and their facial expression, their tone of voice, their body language is saying something else, which do you trust? Right? We trust the body language. We trust that nonverbal communication more than we trust someone's words. Right? So much of our communication is not about what we say. Right? This is a very, very important and fundamental point in communication because you can learn all kinds of fancy communication skills. And if your intention is off, people will feel it. So I say over and over again when I teach, skillful communication is not about what we say. It's about where we're coming from inside and the quality of understanding or connection we're able to create with someone. So one of the reasons intention is so powerful is that our intention plays a huge role in shaping all of that nonverbal communication, your tone of voice, your facial expression, your body language, subtle cues that are registering just below the surface of awareness, all of that is shaped to a large degree by our intention. So if our intention is off, the other person's going to feel it and they're going to respond to the intention, not to the words. So this is why intention is such a powerful ingredient in conversation. And one of the things, one of the benefits of mindfulness, one of the things that we learn as we practice bringing more awareness into our life is that we can become aware of our intention. We can notice where we're coming from, why we're speaking, how we're listening, what's motivating us. And not only can, be, can we be aware of that, but we can choose consciously to bring forth certain intentions.